everybody and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be unboxing another wizarding trunk now i'm so excited i've had this box for about a week and a half um but unfortunately it is the end of term and it's just been very busy with report writing and getting data done and all those sort of things so i've not had a chance to unbox it and if you haven't already seen i actually won a brother studio tour with a bunch of other harry potter creators and friends which was so much fun and um, so yeah i've just been very busy and very tired since then but today i'm going to be unboxing this box and all of my friends have told me that this box is great so i'm so excited to see what's in it so if you do too and you want to see what's in more wisdom trump boxes and make sure you hit, you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you are notified every single time i upload and i just realized i forgot to introduce myself so hi i'm nikki i make lots of disney harry potter and travel content i've actually got a barcelona series coming up which i'm going to be editing over the summer which i'm so excited to share with you guys and i've got lots more harry potter and disney content to come including september 1st which i will be again going to and some more harry potter magic and if you're a returning subscriber hi thank you so much for coming back and i hope you enjoy this video let's get into the box so i've noticed that we have a different box this time now if i remember correctly they actually sent around an email where they explained that they didn't get the box the bi-monthly boxes in time so they gave us the quarterly box which is called the high security vault boxes just so they were able to ship them out in time but i've never seen one of these boxes in real life well in person i've seen them on the internet they are so nice look at this detail i love this it's so cool and it says fragile magical delivery then obviously it says quarterly special edition but we have got the bi-monthly just in the different box so i'm going to give you guys a, a first sneak peek i do believe if i'm correct in remembering that this is the headmaster box so let's have a little look normally you would see the t-shirt on the top so i'm finding that a little strange but maybe there isn't a t-shirt this time okay let's see what the first item is the one that is making me want to take out the box the most is this one it's bigger than my head and it just i just have to know what's in it because you always get really exciting things in this so the question i've been asking myself since i found out the theme was the headmasters is is this a box about all the different headmasters of hogwarts or is this going to be specifically on dumbledore now don't get me wrong dumbledore is a fascinating character and as a child i idolized him but as an adult i actually think that he's kind of manipulative and i know that that isn't an opinion held by everybody however obviously i really like the dumbledore obviously i really do like some of the things dumbledore has and i'll be interested to find out if they're all related to him and whether it what books it's over so yeah let's have a little look oh why is it every time i get polystyrene it always breaks on me let's have a look Ooh, hold on what is this what is this <gasps> no way <gasps> no way we've got the pensive <gasps> looking over here i'm also making a tiktok of this video so please go check it out over there too look at the pensive this is going on these shelves mum i love you and i know you want them on these shelves downstairs but i have to have this up here so okay i need to stop being so like awestruck over it okay so here you've got what i believe is it feels acrylic so you've got an acrylic um pensive and it's got this gorgeous blue which actually has quite a nice reflective shine to it and it's hard to see on camera but it does have a uh, little swirls in it so it looks like it's going round <sighs> whoa and it's got the mirror it's even got like all the stains that you see in the mirror from where it's been used so many times and the detailing it's got all of the little designs from the films you can even see where it's coming up Okay, item one is fantastic and I rate it like a million stars. That is so cool. I love it. In fact, I'm just going to put it... Um, I'm just going to put it up here for now. Sorry, Mr. Tom Felton. I'm just blocking your face for a minute so that I have it up there. That was item one and that was fabulous. Okay, so let's move on to item two. What are we going to go for next? Let's go for this. Let's see what's inside of this. Let's have a look and see what is in... Ooh, we've got some bubble wrap. Is this going to be something like Have we got another memory? Because I've got, I've got a memory. Where is it? Where's my memory vial? It's on these shelves. Or is it over there? Where's my memory vial? Ah. 
So I've got this memory. I have this memory, which has come from a another box. I'm pretty sure this was from the last box. So I'm wondering, do I have another memory to go with it to go with my pensive? Because if I do, then I'm gonna have to make a headmaster shelf with my pensive. We do. Oh my gosh, it says all finished. So I'm gonna guess that this is from when Tom Riddle was in the orphanage and this is the memory where he shows that Dumbledore shows Harry um, of him going and meeting Tom Riddle for the first time. How cool is that? And it's even got the bit in it, the shimmer that makes it look like it is a memory. Two memory vials and I like the fact they're in different shape bottles because obviously Dumbledore probably wouldn't have had the same shape bottle for all of them and he would have used what he had at the time. It does look like mine in the top I've slightly leaked but I'm not sure if that's meant to be an effect so that it looks like it's been opened and been shown like when he showed Harry and that he's watched it a few times and obviously some of it's got stuck in the top mm, yeah I don't want to risk taking it off because it's glass but that is beautiful I'm trying let's see if I can get it to do it look at that shimmer oh that is so magical number three okay Is this a pocket watch? Is this a pocket watch? I adore pocket watches. I've actually got the doctor's one when it's got all like the Gallifreyan like symbols on it and things like that, which is really cool. So it is a pocket watch. Okay, I've got to get this out. So I don't Oh my goodness, it is stunning. So it's got numbers or what what look like numbers going around it and Roman numerals. And then when you open it, it actually works! Like it actually works, it's actually ticking. I love it, so you've got this gorgeous, lovely, long gold chain. On the back you've got this stunning little design. I'm actually, I'm gonna put some other close-ups in for you in a minute because I'm not quite sure if I'm doing it justice. And then the front is absolutely stunning. Is this um the one that hangs in the office that goes like this? Is that the one there? Because I have that at the tour. But I can't remember if that's the same clock or if that's a different clock. I know this is the headmaster and I'm trying to remember exactly why I know this. But I'm having a day where my brain just cannot remember. But I love it so much. And I'm just in love with that. That is stunning. I love that so much. I don't know how anything can beat all of the items that we've already got because they're so good. Oh, this feels like it could be fabric. Ooh. Oh, let's have a little look then. So, could this be something Gryffindor related or could this be Phoenix related? Because it's red and it's gold. So it could be Gryffindor, but it could also be something, something Phoenix. I think it's a cushion cover and I've actually got a cushion sitting right up there that needs a new cushion cover. Oh, it's not. Oh, look, it's so pretty. I love that. Very Dumbledore. It's got runes on it. I absolutely love that. That's so nice. I'm actually going to see right now if it fits my cushion. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, look how cute this is in my cushion. Now my cushion is just a tiny bit too small. But look at that. It's beautiful. I love that so much. And I could honestly just imagine this in Dumbledore's office. And yeah, you could, I could just imagine having a little sleep on it. And this is going to be so lovely to have on my bed. Uh, or downstairs we could have it downstairs actually because we do have quite a few now harry potter cushions but yeah i love this i can't remember if this was item number four or five but i love it anyway let's see what item number five is okay i've just seen a pin now i think i saw this was ariana but i'm not sure i'll let you look first it is i think it is anyway yes it is so this is actually depicting dumbledore's little sister who unfortunately tragically died i think it is so nice and i think it's really nice that we're getting different things rather than just a standard thing that you would see in a headmaster box and i know earlier on i said that dumbledore isn't like my favorite but obviously as a child i loved him and idolized him and i saw him such as a grandfatherly figure and it's just that now i'm older i see a little bit more to life but that doesn't mean you can't appreciate and enjoy all of the things in these boxes because at the end of the day Dumbledore is Hogwarts in, the, in a sense and he does make a lot of the magic happen and I think if I'd been at Hogwarts I would have probably quite liked Dumbledore if I hadn't have known everything else that was going on 
but I really like that. So that is item number so far. Really, really enjoying this box. Oh, what's this? This feels very velvety. Let's have a little look. Oh, I love the gold foiling. Just trying to see what it says. I think it's M. Is that so? It's either Headmaster or Minerva. Let's have a look. That is gorgeous. Let's have a. Oh, it's not. It's Order of Merlin. I should have known that. That is what make, makes the box heavy. I'm just going to put it back into place because it's fallen out of it. But it's the first class order of Merlin that Dumbledore was given. I can't believe we've been given this. I'm just going to really carefully try and take it out. Oh, actually, I don't think it's meant to come out. I think it's meant to be sat. Okay, so it's meant to be sat in there, but my glue had started to come off. So that's obviously why mine wasn't sitting properly. So I don't think it's actually meant to come out of there. So let's put that back in. Try and put this back in nicely. But it is lovely. It's got this really beautiful, like, t greeny teal, um, greeny teal, like, lanyard. And then it says, first class, order of Merlin. Then it's got it down the bottom, acts of courage or... or Acts of courage or great magical achievement. And it's what was given to Dumbledore after defeating Gellot, Gellot Grindelwald. I can't say that name today for some reason. I love that. The, I like the fact that we're getting items in here that you would have never seen in like other wizard, like in other subscription boxes and things that I definitely have never seen before. Like I have never seen actually a pensive. I've never seen it in the first class order of Merlin or this sort of portrait pin. So I really like that we're delving more into the character and into things that are around the character rather than just, you know, your typical things like sherbet lemons and stuff like that, which obviously would be great if you got something like sherbet lemons. Um, but I know obviously people are very on opinion on whether they get food in subscription boxes and I totally understand that. But yeah, it's just nice to see different items. Well, let's go for item because that was number six. Let's go for item number seven. Now we have another one of these. Ooh, I feel like, was this a key last time? I feel like this was a key last time. So we have another unlocking the magic box. Again, love the foiling, love the silver. Let's have a little look. <gasps> it's a key ring. I think it was a key ring last time. And oh my gosh, it's Dumbledore's statue. And it's Dumbledore, the stairs going up to his office. And it's got like the phoenix. Oh, I just got to show you. That is so magical. Now, I actually don't put these on keys. I display them. My other one is either, I think it's on that shelf over there. My other one is on my shelf over there. And this one is going to be there to join it. I actually think I might need to have a little move around of my shelves. Because I've got so many magical things that I want to display. But let's take this out for a moment and have a look. Oh, it's actually got the key. So it's got the lock on it. I just love the way that this is designed. I love the way that this is designed and I just think it's so beautiful and it's just such a good idea like I've not seen this done before and I like the fact that you've you've obviously got his staircase and you've got the like the, the bit that turns up you've got like the statue and it just really feels like I've got the key to Dumbledore's office and I could just go to Hogwarts go up to his door and then like unlock it and it would just let me in I love that. I could honestly imagine Dumbledore's key looking like this because it's just so Dumbledore, so magical, so hog. Such a good item and whoever designed this. Hey, what else have we got in store for us in this box? Well, that's not an item. Okay. Oops. Let's go for the book cover and I believe a print. So let's go for, I'm going to say this is the print first. And there is stunning gold foiling on it. <gasps> it's the Phoenix. Oh. The Phoenix Life Cycle. We've got a Phoenix Lifestyle poster and it says the Phoenix Lifestyle. Really stunning, you know, like the, the burgundy and the gold really stands out on the black. And it's, because obviously it's been curled up for so long, it's quite difficult to keep straight. So I'm just going to do my absolute best to be able to show you. But it is so pretty. I've got, I need to find a frame for this like right now. I think I might actually have to order a frame offline because this is stunning how am i supposed to choose wisdom trunk a favorite this is 
such a good box. I have no idea how I'm going to pick the favourite. I can't remember what number of these we're up to, but I'm going to guess because this is around the headmaster, and obviously we've had you've got like the phoenix in there, that this is going to be for the Order of the Phoenix book, but I could be wrong. Let's have a look. I can already see this one is completely different to the others. Just the colouring and the, the way that it looks textured on the page. Normally you have, it's quite a marbly effect, whereas this time it looks quite layered. It looks like there's leaves, which could have something to do with that. It could have something to do with it being to do with the autumny. It just looks very autumny. So let's have a look together. I think that says the something, something great or good. For the greater good maybe <gasps> look at that foiling again i'm sorry i keep going on about the foiling but i do absolutely love it and the colors the way they complement each other they are just stunning and you've got like you've got your greens your oranges your reds it feels very author of the phoenixy very like you know very phoenix vibes and it says for the greater good so it did say that to me this kind of feels a bit fantastic beastie as well Oh, this is immaculate and as I said before, in previous videos this, these are the one of the main reasons I got them because for, they're for the UK and um, book editions that's just stunning wow it's in trunk oh this is quite heavy I didn't expect this to be so heavy so we have yes another plain box it's just a smaller one than the last one roughly around the length of my head let's have a look I wonder if this will be like a potion or I'm trying to think what we haven't had yet Deluminator maybe but it might be too big it is a potion and it says and it's red is that red or is that orange hard to tell what's in the packet oh it's red so it says 100% Hungarian dragon's blood from the pure blood apocryphy apocryphy every time every every time I go to film this I love it so you've got the black detailing where it looks like it's been like sealed on with black wax and then you've got the string that goes round it and oh it's glittering look i don't know if the camera's picking it up well but that is so glittery it really does look like it could be dragon blood and then obviously you've got this beautiful sticker that they have which they do have their own version of making labels which is absolutely beautiful i love that that potion is stunning and that will probably actually rather than going up here we do have a potion shelf downstairs so that will probably go on the potion shelf downstairs oh my goodness that is that is stunning the print replica or the the print that we've got is a snapshot of Dumbledore's office and somebody has clearly taken so much time to draw and detail this on. You can see the portraits of the previous headmasters, you can see his cabinets at the back, you can see what looks like the solar system in one corner with a fire. Well I was going to say fire burning but it actually looks like where the phoenix would sit and it looks like the um the fire from the ashes you can see the pensive in the background i, was, I said that was shelves it's actually the pensive isn't it it's just the way that it's all set out you can see all of his little trinkets you can see that his compass or his stop is what do you call it you can see his pocket watch you can actually see a lot of the things you like you can see the key you can see the rebirth they've actually included a lot of the items in this which is so clever and so cool of them to do and you can see sherbet lemons you can see the for greater good book which is the cover that we've got i just think this is such a beautiful print and i've actually got a frame that this print will fit so i'm going to put this in the frame and then put it up on one of my shelves because it is just beautiful unfortunately that i can't see a signature so i can't tell you who did it and last but very not least we have got another page from our a to z magical creatures so in this one we have got q and we've got creature one and we've got the quillian which is the one that is in the fantastic beast movies i see what you guys are doing you're link you've put a lot of the full things from fantastic beasts in here so you've been linking over things to do with what happened in the secrets of dumbledore and other fantastic beast films because obviously the headmaster of hogwarts dumbledore which this box is all about he's not only you know the character that we see and we hear about in the Harry Potter films he's also got a whole life that he'd led because he's a very old man in the films so it's nice to be able to see things throughout his life 
rather than just things that are of him at Hogwarts. So I love that little addition. We've actually got another one of these, which I'm pretty sure I've already got. The Vampire and Vila, which I'm pretty or Villa. I'm pretty sure I've already got this, but this is awesome. If I've already got it, then there will be my magical friends who doesn't have it will absolutely love it. Okay. Oh wait, I thought that was the last item, and it's not. There is one, maybe two more things. I didn't realise. Okay. Sherbet lemon candies. <gasps> okay, serves 25, five minute prep time, 30 minutes cook time. It's the recipe, so it tells you what you need to do to make sherbet lemons. Okay, I'm gonna try this recipe out over the summer because the summer holidays is literally for me in two and a half weeks. So this is gonna be something I try out. Um, and I upload for you guys. It tells you everything you need and then gives you instructions on the back. I absolutely love that because I love sherbet lemons. And they are definitely a very British thing. And um, they might be, you know, you might get them, you probably get them all over the world. Um, but they're definitely, for me, a very British thing that I enjoy. And it's cool to know how to make them because I had no idea how to make them. So I love that. And then it tells you from the kitchen of AD, Albus Dumbledore. The detailing is brilliant. I love you've got the purple that we commonly associate with Dumbledore. Um, and it just looks very, very Dumbledore like he looks very much like he would be telling the star he'd be telling you know the house elves that work at Hogwarts or somebody this is how you make my sherbet lemons and um, because I need a constant supply so I love that amazing I am going to definitely make it because with five minute prep time and 30 minute cook time that seems fantastic I believe is the very last item but not in any way the least is a portrait of Dumbledore or I believe it's meant to be Dumbledore asleep in his chair so I'm guessing that this is somebody's take on what Professor Dumbledore would look like at Hogwarts because obviously anybody who's read the books will have a different interpretation of what the characters look like for me I do have interpretations of the characters that are not included in the films and some differences with the characters from the books to the films however as somebody who grew up with the books and the films pretty much being released at the same time. I am actually six days older than the first Harry Potter book. I therefore was kind of in the generation of children or people that saw the films alongside of alongside reading the books. So I kind of do picture all of the actors as those characters. Although as I've got older I've kind of realised that Snape and Lily and James and Remus and all of those characters actually should be depicted way younger because Lily and James are 21 when they die and that is a heartbreaking and tragic realisation. Looking forward to seeing if they explore that in the TV series but that's a video for another day. And that is definitely the very final item. Wow. Wisdom trunk, what can I say? What a magical box. Now we're going to have a look through... <gasps> no way! Kaylee! You're on the back! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Kaylee, my friend Kaylee Christian, we actually met up for the first time after talking for quite a few years through Instagram, is on the back of this. So you need to go follow Kaylee. She is amazing. Her channel is great. And the link is below. I will link her below and her Instagram. And she is the Wisdom Trunk Editor's Choice. Congratulations, Kaylee. I'm so excited for you. And I'm so excited to see you hopefully in a few weeks. I need to stop bouncing this. I'm probably not going to be able to read it. Here is the cheat sheet. Hello everyone, editing me here. So I accidentally deleted my outro. Um, basically my camera died, so I filmed the outro on my phone. But then a couple of weeks ago, I was going to um, do some filming with Jenny for our joint account, which I'll leave here and I'll leave link down below. And I deleted a bunch of stuff off. And I think I've accidentally deleted the outro off because I cannot find the outro. So this is just me wrapping it up. What can I say? I, I'm obsessed with this box. It was so good. I don't even know how to pick favourite items. But I definitely think that the stopwatch, which is on here, um, and the vial and the pensive are probably my top three items. Absolutely love them. I just think this box was a fantastic box and it was just so well done. And I do love wisdom trunks. Um, I'm hopefully going to get the next one, but it's all going to depend on finances because at the same time that the wisdom trunk comes out, my car insurance and my car tax is due out. So I just need to see if I'm financially able to keep both 
um going fingers crossed i am if not i have to start it again the month after um sorry if you can hear mama cafe doing the hoovering downstairs but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what's your favorite item and did you enjoy this theme i thought it was such a good theme and obviously some fantastic items if you'd like to see any more of my videos please click here and make sure you turn that notification bell on so you are notified every single time i upload and if you want to see if my if you want to see any more of my videos, please click here. Hope you're having a very magical day and I'll see you soon. Bye!